तत्षा विमह वक्रतुंडा धीमह तो दंदि प्रचोदया ओं साईश्वराय विमह सत्यदेवाय धीमह तर्व प्रचोदया ओं जयंती मंगल काली भद्र काली कपालिनी दुर्गा श्यामाशिवदात्रे स्वाहा स्वादा नमोस्त दे ओं शांति 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 सायराम लीन सायराम 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 शर्मा Sairam so, um, oh, didn't mean to interrupt Sairam so, from New Zealand and Sairam so, from Malaysia from Sharma and Lynn welcome to our listeners wherever you may be and we offer our most loving pranams to the divine lord with whom the connection heart to heart is the only connection that matters there was a story told to me by a wonderful gentleman who lived in the ashram for many years and he was known as Swami's poet and also Swami's storyteller and this is the story he told me he said once there was a man who was walking in the desert and he was so so thirsty in fact the further he walked the more thirsty he became his tongue was parched and his lips were dry and he would have given anything any amount of money for a drink of cold clear water in the distance he could see some light shimmering and as he drew closer he could see that it was a large water tank he couldn't believe his eyes and as he drew closer to the tank he noticed that even cool droplets of water were rolling down the tank and he began to lick them but of course licking drops is not the same as having a good long drink of cold clear water then he noticed that next to the tank was a small table with a tap and a sink and a glass he thought this is my lucky day god is certainly smiling upon me and he took the glass turn the tap handle and waited expectantly for the glass to fill with cool clear water the tap made a screechy noise as though it were rusty and no water came out the man was very annoyed at this and wondered who would be so stupid as to build a water tank here and put a sink beside it a glass of water and a tap and no water comes out suddenly he looked down and saw there was no connection between the tap and the tank and this is what is needed for us to be connected with swami there must be a good connection otherwise what use is this tank filled with love and grace and divine light what use is it to us this is the divine water that will quench our thirst but there first must be a good connection between us and the divine how do we achieve it i get asked this question so many times how do i connect with swami there are many many ways and it seems to me because i had to go through this process myself that it is like a trial and error process mata betty used to say that you can imagine that swami is sitting on a sofa in the middle of your heart that there's a little room there swami sitting on it you imagine yourself walking in and swami himself said that um love is not a two seat sofa there is only room for one and so i tried to imagine doing this imagine a little sofa in my heart i couldn't couldn't connect with that at all didn't make any sense to me So then I tried chanting the name but again this is a difficult process for a westerner to do maybe if you are a member of the catholic faith and faith and are used to chanting a rosary that would be something that would be easier to do but this did not have any reality for me either Mother Betty said well then why don't you think about every time the breeze 
uh, blows against your cheek, you see that as Swami, because that was one thing that happened to her when she was on her knees begging God to save her husband. She felt a slight breeze. And then years later, when in her first interview with Swami, he very gently touched her cheek and it felt like a slight breeze. She said, that was what did it for me. And I said, Ma, not everyone has had the opportunity to be with Swami in person. And to be, to be actually quite honest, if I hadn't had that up close and personal experience with Swami myself, I'm not so sure that I would have become 108% devoted and connected with him. For me, I needed to see a miracle. And I can remember wanting to see something like Amrit coming out of Swami's photo. And so that wish was granted to me. I went to a friend's house and sure enough, as we were singing bhajans, Amrit began to flow from the picture. We were all given a taste. But not everyone gets the opportunity to see Amrit flowing from Swami's picture. Then what to do? Then another lady invited me for a drink of lingam water. She had a lingam that Swami had produced, especially for New Zealand. And I was able to drink this divine water from Swami's materialized lingam. Surely this began to have some effect on opening my heart because my heart was closed. And even Jack Hislop used to say, Lynn, my heart was dry before I came to Swami. And Jack had done every kind of alternative spiritual practice. He had worked for the Maharishi Mahesh Yogi, who was the Beatles Yogi. He had been in charge of Maharishi's operation in Hawaii for some time. That didn't work. He went to Burma to do the highest form of Vipassana meditation. That didn't work. He said he came out of there feeling flat and dry like a corn husk. It wasn't until he saw Bhagwan that he felt his heart beginning to melt and he felt a real connection because the connection is a feeling. If you think about the feeling that you have, when you've had a good meal, that feeling is Swami. That is the Brahma inside your spiritual heart, enjoying the food that is presented before it. So if you enjoy your food, that's your connection with Swami, that good feeling. I don't mean go stuff your face, but that wonderful feeling of having a good meal, satisfaction, that is one aspect of the divine Lord, and it is within you. Because he is within you, you don't have to go and find an outer form of him. He is inside you all the time. It's a shortcut. And if that isn't working for you, think about the beautiful feeling you have when you see nature. Does your heart soar when you see a snow-clad mountaintop or when you see a rainbow in the sky, when you see deer running through the forest, when you see the glorious colors in a cat's eye, when you see corn growing strong in the field, waving in the breeze? This is a wonderful feeling your heart will leap. When you see someone you haven't seen for a long time, someone you love so much, and your heart jumps in your chest, that's, that's the connection with Swami. That's the feeling of love, because he is love. He is pure love. He is divine love. He once said, I will wrap my love around you the way a mother covers her baby with a blanket. Imagine that feeling, how good it feels to be wrapped in a warm blanket on a cold night. Start to discover these feelings that make you feel good and see those feelings as the Swami within you. That is the beginning of your connection. It's simple, really. It's not difficult. It's all about feeling because that's what the heart is. It is the wellspring of love. It is the wellspring of life. It is the God within you. It is Sai. Om Sri Sai Ram. Om Sri Sai Ram. Tasmat Karunya Bhavena Rekcha Rekcha Sai Ishvara. Hari Om Tat Sat Sai Ishvara Arpanamastu. 
ओम शांति शांति शांति